is this company and what they did, and this is very common for a lot of people out there, they basically um, they have a product that's gonna have a VPN for you. And the way they're handling it is, in their product, they put a self-signed certificate that was in charge of signing the certificates for all the users that joined the VPN. So you're a user, you come into the office, you need to get online, you're gonna go there and you're gonna uh, do a request and get a certificate. Well, what happened was, this is an embedded certificate. It's not accessible via API or SSH or TLS or anything like that. It's an embedded certificate and it's self-signed. So what are the problems here? Well, I'll tell you the problem that made everyone realize it's a problem is the certificate expired. So what happens is you go there and you cannot get a certificate anymore. So your business, all of your workers trying to connect to get a certificate, they are down. They cannot get on the VPN, period. So what are our problems here? Embedded, I have no way to interact and fix it. Self-signed, uh, there's all sorts of problems there. It's a root signing certificate essentially when you're self-signed. The only way you got up and running and getting your users back on the network is getting a patch from a vendor and installing that patch in an emergency change control. And so now every single company that gets their expired self-signed certificate has to open up a support ticket, has to go through the rigmarole to get to the right people. They have to issue a patch. The company now has to do change control. You've got a thousand employees trying to get on the network to get work done, maybe development. So, so how, much, how much money and time are you losing if people and manufacturers are not putting you know, their thought process in mind to give us a way to interact with the certificates? You're asking for failure. You're asking for outage. You're asking for all those problems.